and welcome to the first episode of Waco High School's video announcements. I'm Jonathan Campos and thank you for joining us. Just a reminder that report card grades are due November 5th that will end the second six weeks. Check your grades now to avoid any surprises. Make sure to check with your teachers for any extra credit or to catch up on any missing work. Also, don't forget your teachers have tutorial times and will be happy to help you. November 1st kicks off our Food for Families food drive and will run until the 18th. There will be a contest held between the second period classes. The class that donates the most canned food during that period will receive an ice cream party from the student council. On Saturday the 13th, there will also be a drive-by food drive from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. A table will be outside for you to drop off your cans. Show your lion pride on October 30th at the second annual Dia de los Muertos Festival. It will start at 4 p.m. at Indian Springs Park and has a night market that will go until 9. This is the first year that the festival will have a parade. It will also have vendors, live music, and art, along with food trucks, kids' activities, and a fashion show. So come see this amazing parade. If you miss FAFSA night on October 28th, there will be an additional night on November 11th. FAFSA is free funding from the government for college, and this year filling out a FAFSA form is a requirement for all seniors. You will need to bring your laptop as long, along with your parents' tax information. The Waco High girls basketball team has their first non-district game on November 5th. They play an away game against the Ellison Eagles that will start at 6.30 p.m. The following Monday is a home game against Cedar Park that happens to be here at Waco High at 7 p.m. Moving on to boys basketball. The boys basketball team has their first non-district game on November 12th. They play, they play an away game against the Shoemaker Wolves that will start at 7 p.m. Then return for a home then return home for to face off the Belton Tigers. The game will be on November 22nd at 12:30 p.m. The new Paul Tyson Stadium is almost complete. Mr. Penny took this beautiful drone footage for us. Construction began in June and the stadium will seat 2,000 people. The project also included a softball and a baseball field and cost 8.9 million dollars. Teachers and administrators are asking students to be in class on time. They say it they say it helps students be on task and is also just the right thing to do. Teachers will be marking students tardy on their roster if they come in late. Students are also being asked to wear their ID badges. Your teachers will be checking them for you. If you don't bring your ID badge, you can pick one up at the discipline office. It is a $1 charge for a temporary and if you need an entirely new ID, it will cost you $5. That's all the announcements for now, but before we go, I'd like to leave you with our joke of the week. A family of tomatoes is hiking in a forest. The dad stops for a moment and the son says, catch up. Thank you for watching our show. I'm Jonathan Campos, and remember, Lion Pride runs deep.